Hey, what's up YouTube? What's happening guys? This is going to be a pretty short video today. I just wanted to share a, I don't know how new this is, but it's a tool I just discovered and it's called uh, Fake Spot. And let's see, the website is fakespot.com. So basically you can type in either Yelp reviews or Amazon reviews and it will basically analyze them and tell you, um, I guess, are they legitimate reviews or are they like paid for a bot review? So if we go over to Amazon and I think Watermelon Slicer uh, is something that I imagine a lot of people bought fake reviews for. So uh, which one should we pick? Uh, we'll pick this one only because, yeah, we'll pick this one, 168 reviews. Um, I know I actually received this one uh, a while back. Um, so I know they're doing giveaways. So let's type this in here and we'll see what happens when we analyze it. So this is going to take uh, take a few minutes here, and I just thought this was interesting. If you guys want to check out your own Amazon listings, you can do that. Um, no, wow, it didn't even take that long. It's an F. 70% uh, of these reviews are low quality. So how do they rate these reviews? I, I think it's maybe like uh, how established the reviewers are. I imagine they're looking for keywords like disclaimer, I received this product for free in return for my review. So the Amazon rating is like one, two, three, four, four and a half stars, four and a quarter stars. The actual trustworthy uh, rating is one star. Um, our search engine has analyzed and discovered that 70% are low quality reviews. Uh, our search engine detected that the reviews reviewers have been mixed positive and neutral. Um, our engine has detected product exchange for reviews. We believe the reviews are harmful for real consumers because of the inherent bias. Uh, our engine has profiled the reviewer patterns and determined that they may be deception involved. So I imagine if you're a reviewer and you do a lot of free product reviews, they're going to kind of flag you as not being a, a good reviewer. Um, our search engine has determined that the review content quality is low. Reviewer profiles have low verified review count. So you can't really, you know, some of these things you can't really control. Like when somebody buys your product and leaves a review, you can't control how many reviews they've left. You can't control how long their review is. But I think what this is picking up on heavily is, uh, okay, so here we have inauthentic review. Um, very fashionable and well-made case. Like th this isn't even a case. This is the watermelon cutter. Uh, really like that it has a wristband. Oh, so maybe they're reviewing other people's things. Overmounting, overwhelming amount of positive reviews. Uh, they're reviewing things that they haven't purchased. Um, you know, so we can kind of see why, some examples of why these are inauthentic reviews. Uh, let's see, let's go back, fake spot. Um, let's try another product. I'm trying to think of something else. Um, paracord bracelet. Uh, let's try to find one with... Okay, so this is Amazon's choice. Um, I forget what seller this is. Let's see how this one ranks. And again, guys, I'm going to keep this video pretty short. I, I really just wanted to kind of introduce you guys to this tool. So this product also, 64% uh, of the reviews are low quality. Uh, Amazon it has a score of four and a half, four and a quarter stars, one trustworthiness. Um, you know, basically same kind of reasons. Um, review some. I received the seed. So we see all these people are saying I received this for free in return for a review. Um, let's try like one more. I'm going to try to find something that I think would be like well-reviewed. So... Uh, the Amazon tap. So this is the Amazon tap. It's like a music player. I can order you pizza. These things are kind of cool. Um, let's plug this one in and see how it, it ranks. Now this ranks bad. <laughs> okay, see this one is, is an A over 90 high quality reviews. Trustworthiness matches the Amazon review. Um, love, tap, great. So this one, you know, ranks well. There's one more product I'm going to check and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of let you guys go. So bug assault. This is a pretty cool product. I actually have one of these. I did not even get it free. I paid like $54 for it. It's kind of stupid. I, it's a lot of money for a little uh, plastic gun, but let's see here. Okay, and this one again. Hey, so it just kind of goes to show if you have a quality product, you're going to get legitimate reviews. If you have a product that needs to kind of be boosted, um, you know, some people are going to use this fake spot site and may or may not buy your product because of this, but um, you know, use this for your own stuff. If you're thinking about buying an item and you want to know how truthful the reviews are, you know, run it through FakeSpot. So again, this website is FakeSpot.com. Um, like I said, I'm going to keep this video fairly short today. I just wanted to show you guys this site. Um, in the wake of the whole no more 
free products in exchange for reviews things going on. Uh, I, I learned about this tool and I, I thought it might be a valuable tool for you guys to check your own product listings um, as well as uh, check out products you're potentially thinking about buying. And how you're going to get A quality scores here is by driving organic sales and not by giving away free products for, in exchange for reviews. So don't get me wrong, you know, giving away free products is a great way to get, give your product kind of a jump start. It jump starts your sales rank. Um, it's going to get you more reviews and it's going to build some kind of uh, social authenticity, so to speak. Uh, but keep in mind, if anybody checks these sites, you're going to get a low review. So, you know, try to have more organic sales than you do paid reviews. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this, uh, this video. Hopefully you find this tool valuable. If so, please give this video a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button below. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, stay tuned. I think I'm going to be dropping a video in the next day or two uh, with some emails I've gotten from some other review sites with some clarification on the new policies and things like that. Um, and we got some other good stuff coming out, too. So stay tuned. We'll talk to you guys soon, and uh, have a great night.